Hey guys, it's Lei. This is going to be a super quick video. Since no one's talking about the center core of Falcon Heavy at the moment, let me just say a few words. First of all, as much as I want it to be a picture perfect landing, my guess, uh, my guess is that the center core didn't make it. Purely because of two reasons. Before I talk about those reasons, let me just say that these are just speculations. All right, let's look at the footage together. The landing of the side boosters is just glorious and I could barely contain myself at that time. But after that, the camera turned to the landing of the center core. This is the live feed at the drone ship and for a few seconds there, it looked just fine. After watching the footage frame by frame, I think the camera froze before landing. But after the drone ship smoked up, there were a few seconds when we can see the drone ship. I can't seem to find the center core on the drone ship. This is the first clue that the center core didn't make it. The second clue is, is this guy. Uh, oh man, yeah, the, as Michael mentioned earlier with the vibrations of the rocket and how it shakes up the cameras that are on the drone ship, sometimes we do lose signal or shakes up the antennas. Oh, and we, we've just gotten confirmation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're just waiting that. to hear what happens, and so we're listening in, and, and we're still waiting to hear. He seems to have heard something but did not say it. And whatever he's heard is probably not good. If I heard that the center core successfully landed, I wouldn't be reacting how he reacted. So there you go, it's entirely speculative, but I, I, I have to get it out of my chest. Also, I do want to say this. In my opinion, demonstration launches are about gathering data. This is the first launch of Falcon Heavy and gathering that crucial data will be super useful in the future launches. You want to make as many mistakes as possible in demonstration launches so you wouldn't make any mistake in the future real missions. The second thing I want to say is that the landing of the center core this time is much harder than you would expect. For all SpaceX launches so far, in low Earth orbit launches, Usually the boosters reach a maximum speed of around 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers per hour at separation, and in geostationary transfer orbit launches, boosters would reach a speed of around 8,200 kilometers per hour at separation. However, the center core reached 9,500 kilometers per hour at separation during this Falcon Heavy launch, so landing that center core with re-entry burn and landing burn is much harder this time. Okay, that's it. I need some rest now. I will be making a full video about Falcon Heavy launch in a few days time, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. This is not the normal video I make on Curious Elephant, uh, but you can take a look at my other videos on this uh, channel if you want to check it out. I'll catch you guys later.